Welcome back to the most professional StarCraft 2, where I'm always excited to introduce the Zerg player in the red. Ranked number one in the world by Dark. It's the final boss. It's Dark. Up against the Terran player in the blue, hopping to compete. It is Bunny. A best of three. T V Z. Where I have to remind you that even though Dark comes in as a pretty heavy favorite, he's called the final boss, not because he necessarily wins everything but instead because he makes it dramatic by the end. So whether you want to see Dark rip this bunny to shreds or bunny spring into action with the start of this spring, it'd be awesome if you could spring into action with a like and a subscribe. And Jimmy, I, I know, it was bad. I got 1,276 likes on this video, on this cast, on this series. And I'll cast another one. And and while I'm getting several dozen dark replays a week, I'll probably do it anyways. But thank you for watching. Hopefully you've had a good day so far. And hopefully it's about to get just a little bit better. I don't know what Bunny's up to lately. Uh, I know what Dark is up to, which is the unexpected. I have no idea what to expect here, which, you know, I think I just said the same thing twice. But Bunny has always had a particular style which is slightly off-center. Early game timings, pulling the boys, uh, late game unit compositions you don't expect, scouting Hellions. It, it, Brenda, is it just one? Yeah. Yeah, that is weird. I don't... <clears throat> Sorry. Um, a single scouting Hellion in the Cloak Banshee. So foregoing the reactor just doesn't have any add-ons at all. Just stock barracks and factory. Now slapping down a tech lab. So Bunny already off to an interesting start. And we'll have that Hellion just hang out at the watchtower, as uh, is so often the focal point of the game. But lately, TVZ, I feel like we're at kind of a middle ground spot, where Roach Ravager and Ling Bane compositions are relatively common, though Ling Bane is probably favored. But at the same time, Terrans have been adding on more and more factories. Not, not here, not now. Not this game, but in general. Uh, though bio remains the the most common uh, strategy. And here we do have Bunny opting for a third command center. A Banshee on the way, just making sure there's no opportunity for Dark to do any sort of uh, shenanigans here with early aggression. Even though there's no... Well, Bunny is just not walling off, which is not recommended. Because when the Zerg... Uh, well, they're not sending their best. They're sending their Zerglings, sometimes Banelings, occasionally Roaches, if you're lucky, Queens. Uh, but generally, you do want a wall in a relatively timely manner. And we'll see if Dark decides to demonstrate why. But Bunny did actually lift a, a barracks to take out the first Overlord on the Pervert Pillar, which is relatively rare because usually you're opening with a Reaper anyways and then using the barracks in order to produce your reactor. For Hellions. So, just that in general, like the Zergling gonna get in on the other side, they'll spot everything. The Cloak Banshees gonna start working on the Queen. Sport Crawlers are done, but the detection is limited to that radius for now. Finds a nice angle. And the Queens still waiting for that layer to finish. Should have an Overseer momentarily. In fact, the Banshees are gonna run out of energy. Still looking for the queens. No transfuses yet. To drink a Red Bull. Thank you. <clears throat> Six drones down to the Banshees thus far. Bunny going to be landing his third relatively quickly. The queens will politely yet firmly ask the Banshees to leave. And it is going to be a, a roach composition to start. We got plus one ranged attack on the way. Dark uh, sees that he's up against Bio, at least... I think he, he knows. How much did he scout? You know, he scouted two gases and no engineering base, so he may think this is mech. It's possible. Uh, either way, the roaches are, are going to be adaptable, but they are definitely better against like a cyclone composition than they are against a straight up marine tank push. They just don't have the flexibility. They don't have the mobility uh, that the, the wings and banes do. But Dark makes Ravagers work in every scenario. Okay. 
funny though with a siege tank in a medevac looking to hit dark sport dark actually went down to a mine through the mineral wall and has unlocked the essentially mining dlc portion of the map which you actually can't get to without drops or going through the mineral walls or rocks so the map has been unlocked siege tank at the back actually being kind of abandoned there but dark has more than enough to deal with it Rarely gets caught with too many drones. Dark is more than happy to play a low economy game. Or relatively low economy, rather than shooting up to triple digit drone counts. So Bunny is in position to continue these attacks. The Banshee's into the natural. He's trying to distract the Queens. Five racks back at home. Has he added on any more? He's adding a second factory. I think I'm seeing all of this. The Banshee's not taken out, but 1-1 one -one is now done for Dark. He starts plus two carapace and burrow, as well as getting melee attack and banelings. So, Dark, I think, adjusting into that more Ling Bane focus composition. The Banshees boxed in to the quarter. Pretty much a non issue at this point. The creep has been driven back, or at least delayed, on the left side. So Bunny is able to execute this drop. He likely will take out the base if he focuses on it, it hits the boost there. As soon as he sees it, a bit odd, but Dark cancels. Not that important to have the base right now, would be nice. But the most important thing is keeping a hold of the fort at this moment. Bonnie picks up. Metavac's heading out. Gold base taken. Siege tag caught. The Zergling's cutting off the reinforcements. Bonnie, he actually has to drop out some of the Marie. It's too late. Dark cuts off the reinforcements. He went through the rocks at the gold. And he's essentially unlocked all the map now. Bunny has a fourth command center finishing, but has not really focused very much on his economy otherwise. Uh, at least only having a fourth, I guess, is relatively light economically. As Dark goes for a fifth, I'm sure he wants to take a sixth. And Fester, standing there menacingly, undulating about, as one does. Corrosive Biles working on the center, but Metavacs at the choke point going to make things difficult. Dark Ultra Cavern, Vipers on the way, Adrenal Glands in production. So, uh, finishing off that Hive Tech as he double expands. Wouldn't be surprised to see a, uh, a macro hatch as well soon. Bunny been unable to make much progress. The Infester a bit conspicuous here. Is Baneling Speed done? Indeed it is. And those medevacs, no, this is not a particularly safe landing zone, but Bunny has maxed out. He's got four bases for only ten minutes in. Banshee coming back. Looks like a bit of a select-all army action, getting everyone involved, but the Banshee's still useful here. Throws up a corrosive bile. Full oh, cloak. And the tanks at the choke point in the center are one of the most difficult parts of the map to dislodge, if not the most difficult. There are 63 Marines, seven siege tanks. Bunny's timing looking good. The Infester gets taken out before he can get a fungal. And there's no more Infesters on the field. 111 Zerglings, but nothing to keep these Marines locked down. Bunny has unseaged his entire army here. The rocks were not taken down. A bit of an oversight. It looks like he was working on them, but didn't quite finish it. And now it's gonna make it much more difficult. Though, the Vipers are in position. Blinding Cloud could be absolutely devastating. Catches a couple of the tanks. He has more Blinding Clouds. Working on the tanks on the back line, but it runs deep. Lings and Banes trying to come around the corner here, but Bunny still has a lot of his army firing. Marines microing back. Some Banes connect, but four, three siege tanks still unloading, and Dark is forced to refill. May end up losing this fifth base. Another huge group of Zerglings is on its way out. Baneling speed. Well, not too many Banelings here, but Adrenal Glands throws up the Corrosive Bowels, knocks out another tank. The Queens get involved yet again. And the Stim Marines and Marauders will grind their way through. But is there a Ghost Academy? There is, but no Ghosts on the field. And that means the Ultras should be the end of this push, but objective accomplished for Bunny. He's able to take out that northern base and start to carve the map into portions that are much more manageable for the Terran. The creep spread relatively small here, barely extending outside of the gold base, which is the next target. There's still one Viper on the field. I'm sure it'll make a cameo appearance soon as Bunny closes in. But there are three Ultras on the field, two more in production. 
They have chitinous plating completed, but not yet uh, finished with ultra speed. Dark still expanding. A viper full of energy. Uh, a ghost finally in production. I think he realizes he's dealing with this late game composition. The viper trying to get involved. The tank spread. I can't believe it's not butter. Ultra is just trundling through here. Essentially uncontested. And Bunny scrambles back to defend, but doesn't want to abandon his siege tanks. The Ultras catch him off guard. Might be able to take out the Planetary Fortress. Would be an absolutely amazing start. The siege tanks still hold it. Ultras chopping through the small amounts of reinforcements. Bunny was actually maxed out, so he didn't have many units producing. Trying to get on top of the SCVs. Another dozen dead and counting. Ultra Burrows actually slips underground there. The Ultra chewing through a whole bunch more Marines, but Bunny doing a good job on the attack. And corrosive by parasitic bomb. Terrible, terrible damage in the skies. And it looks like three, four, five more medevacs gonna be taken down. A devastating blow as Bunny, his momentum is shattered in the center of the map, but Dark, his supply is plummeting as well. The Ultra unburrows and starts chewing through the SCVs yet again. But the ghosts line up their shots and the Ultra should be taken, oh my God. Must have been the wind. Did he not notice? Dark taking advantage of that slightly increased ultra burrow speed. Well, it's gonna pop up and immediately die unless he waits for like, what, 20 minutes for it to regen? It's like one health. Zerg regen is not percentage based. It's a flat number. Oh, well that was absolutely gruesome and completely predictable. Bunny has retreated, and he's clearly switched gears into a much more methodical pace. Instead of trying to take out Dark with an all-out tank push, you can see the production tab. He's got Widow Mines, Liberators, Ghosts, Building Armor. He's hardening his shell. Metapod over here, and a nuclear missile. So, instead of fighting it out on the field, Dark has uh, allowed Bunny to take these bases at this point. He'll take the rest. Expanding to the north. He's now got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bases. And counting. Uh, Bunny tries to send out a drop. Fusion core on the way as well. Nukes. Not something we see very often, as at this level, rarely do players get caught by them, but as a positional and a distractic, just something to keep them busy while you do, you know, anything else while they're trying not to lose. Oh, this is awkward. I believe the Banelings got scouted. A drone scouting the Metavax as well. Neural Parasite just now on the way. Mainlings roll in. Oh! Just knocks out the command center. And nuclear missile launched. Um, where's the ghost? Oh, the ultra is willing. Just. Oh my god! Just ragdoll the ghost out to the side. Pummeled off target. The nuke will fly off into the sunset or whatever it does. Four more command centers on the way. Parasitic bomb. It takes two parasitic bombs to kill the medevacs back to back. And it doesn't stack, but Dark has always been... He's never been stingy with the parabombs uh, on those medevacs. Burrowed links. There are now five orbital commands. Dark... Whoa, whittle mine. Takes a big bite. But Dark is expanding to both of the rich Vespine bases. To be clear, the rich Vespine bases... Uh, they only have one gas gazer. Mine's twice as fast, but it only has as many. It only has that 2250 gas. So there's only one base of gas between these two. It's just how quickly you can mine it. So not a huge deal. It seems like we're already kind of transitioning into that. How much is left as every base has been taken now? Another ghost obliterated, but that allows the rest of the ghosts to start lining up some shots. 
Brenda, get, why is there no creature? Why is there still a banshee? Oh my god, one. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Well, Banshee goes down. Nidus at the back of the base, but not exactly. The Venn diagram of freedom over the top of it. I don't think that's something that uh, Dark really wanted to explore there. But investors will be scouted. There are five orbitals. I'm sure that number. Firing their bullets directly into the ground. Dark will now try and hide us slightly to the side. So, Dark has mined actually way less gas right now. Uh, a couple thousand less. About 2,200 per gas gas. We'll round to 2k to make it easy enough. But it feels like this game is... We went from full-on maxed out aggression, but Bunny did something very important, which is realize he wasn't going to win on mid-game tech. Sometimes when we see Terrans overrun eventually by the Zerg, it's because they kept trying to attack. I mean, Zergs do the same thing, but so far Dark has found more success. But if either player overcommits and ends up losing, even if you kill a base, if you end up losing 1,500 gas to do so, and of course Banelings do cost gas, then is it really worth it if they eventually just mine from that base, with only which only costs minerals? It seems like we're headed down that road. This is one of the most clear-cut examples of turtling up I've seen in quite a while. There's another nuke on the way, Devil Spire. We'll see if he ends up making those spires, or at least one of them great again. But the, the turrets working forward to try to zone out the infestors. The fact that Dark is mining both of those center bases or, or the northern bases, rather. Not the center bases. Anything but the center bases. All right, settle in. Get your popcorn, pizza rolls. I actually like these Costco granola bars. Um, by the way, Costco, please sponsor me. All right. Very convenient. So, they're only 100 calories a piece. So when I eat five of them, I'm like, I only ate 100 calories five times. Which is good macro. Um, actually, in my opinion. Uh, because you can never just eat one. Don't be ridiculous. Um, I think they have some vitamins or something in there. But mostly they have chocolate. Anyways, Costco puts. Um, so if you got some of those, now's probably a good time. Um, but you better... Okay. I don't know if he's trying to mask it. But, you know, that's actually a pretty good... And the snipes come out. The dot is there. I think he was trying to kind of hide it. On that little uh, ledge there. There are some ways you can do it, but against someone like Dark, uh, it's unlikely. Another nuke on the way. Liberator siege is up. Are there any corruptors on the field? The Liberator count. There's a dozen. 18 ghosts. Buddy has stripped the Marines and Marauders out of the composition one way or another. He has a few leftovers. Dark has 12 thousand minerals and 6900 gas in the bank another nuke he's gonna keep hammering this point if one of them lands i guess we got to keep asking like is it worth the 100 100 it's kind of like nidus oh the nuke's gonna land hmm. even the spore robbie get out of the way ah yes robert the spore crawler He likes rooting and doesn't afraid of anything. Rooting, tooting, and shooting. Top three things. Don't ask in which order. Blinding cloud on the turrets, which was recently brought to my attention that it doesn't really work very well. Because when you fly directly over the turret, technically the viper is in melee range. So the turret will shoot at the viper. Which upsets me, by the way. I just want to say, wait, the, well, does it matter that much? Because I didn't... Neural Parasite and SCV Dark. Switch to Terran. Switch to Terran. It only takes 12 Neural Parasites in a row to build a command center, so it seems pretty realistic. I'm sure Buddy won't respond. 
All right, the creep is on his doorstep. The tanks just continue shelling. Both players using their kind of supply. So the key part is Nidus and, and Ghost. They do not Ghost. Nukes do not cost supply. This ain't the Brood War. So both of these mechanics are something that they can do without changing their unit composition. Almost everything else would require at least some management. Uh, but... Now we got the air upgrades getting filled in. Bunny hasn't been particularly diligent about his mech upgrades. He has plus zero plating, which is just no plating. He does have building armor. Oh my god, the double planetary. This is redonkulous. That's a technical term. And the ghosts just light up the firing squad. Oh, the ultra gets away. And then he just gives up. He doesn't. Oh my. Hmm. Stumbles across the finish line. Bunny with a incredibly bold... Well, Bunny. I mean, he cancels the nuke. The ghosts do capable damage. They aren't shooting water balloons. Changelings getting shot down. There actually haven't been that many resources lost. It's not a small amount, but it isn't... It, it, it's definitely less than we've seen in some more dramatic games. This is more of a chess match here. Um, a very murdery chess match, but... 64! He's going on 100 Banes. Give me 100 Banes, Dark. Give me what I want, what I really, really want. He's at 82. And he's rolling through. The Widow Mines, but by the time they kill the Banes, the Planetary... Is killed incidentally, and meanwhile, Dark... Uh, well... Huh. Huh. Well, that was certainly... That was certainly one of the plays he could make. Assimilation successful. Uh, simulation successful? Oh, he neural parasited a ghost, and then held it down and killed it with Banes, which... is pretty hardcore. <laughs> Now watch. Watch as the Banes roll in. Well, just imagine the Banes with like a shit-eating grin on their face. Like... Something like that. Uh, as they roll in the, that sort of situation. Witness me! Well, the Liberator's... Uh, but he's still attempting it. Dark actually has expended a lot of gas lately. He, he's now lost 4,000 more gas and 12,000 more minerals. That number sounded wrong. Each base has about... Okay, what is it? 15... 15 and... Well, there are no, almost no unmined bases here. It's like 15,800, so... 6,000. It's like 15k per base. I knew this number at one point. Alright, I'm not here. I'm not here to worry about math, okay? Though. The sensor towers, by the way, covering almost the entire map. He can really narrow down, and then he can scan for the rest. Dark is now lining up for the Broodlord transition. <gasps> the bases take. Oh my god! <laughs> Liberation is at hand. The, the ghost will be taken out. Parasitic Bomb actually hits all the Liberators there. Ghost Liberator in its purest form. Absolutely disgustingly cost-effective. But very difficult to actually make any progress with this sort of unit composition. By the way, Thor's also involved. We're getting a bit ambitious. Some Vikings... As we work towards the Nordic lore. Alright. Some battery pack Evo chambers. Well. How much more? Dark has bind 12,000 more minerals, but only 3,000 more gas. How much more gas? <sighs> We need a we need a gas remaining counter. 
as well. Or we could do the caster thing, which is going around starting to count. Because at some point... A neural parasite that could come on over. You should be able to launch their nukes. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think you can... And snipes the ghost! Got him! All right. Great job, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, we got... Pack it up. We got the ghost. That was the one. All right. Their weapons of mass destruction have been found and destroyed. Or shut down or something. Either way, we've dealt with it. Mission successful. What do you mean they have a 200 more supply of Ghost Liberator? Planetary Fortress. Viking. Oh, Thoron Liberator action. And the units won't automatically attack their former brethren. The Thor is actually quite a good counter to this. Uh, the best counter to Thor's is, of course, Thor's. Also quite good against ghosts. D I think Dark is... Dark is intentionally leaving the Thor alive instead of killing it. Because it's the best unit on the field for dealing with the Liberators. Another nuke on the way, but he's gonna use the Thor to take out the ghost! Get it! Come on, get that ghost! Oh, wait, well... Oh, it's close. That one was close. Oh my god. He's countering the ghost with the thorns! An incredible fungal! The thorn is just obliterating the ghost! How does that count in the kill counter? Oh my god! So, 14 ghosts have been lost this game. And almost half of them have been killed by Buddy's Thor. And now I give you permission to die. So, Bunny, maybe you should stop me. Oh, Titus! Into the natural! It feels like that Thor. That turncoat Thor there. That, that may be the turning point in this game. As Dark finally able to make some progress against the turtle mech, or just turtle Terran composition. And he does it by borrowing a Thor. Which was very kind of Bunny to provide him. So, here we are. Bunny just launching nukes. Which does cost money. 100, 100 apiece. Whether they land or not, you don't get a refund on those. And uh, there's no restock. In there. They don't buy used. Right. How many dr 41 drones to 36? I mean, how many mineral patches are left? Not many. This looks like the only base. Dark mined out the gas. Another nuke. So you can't neural parasite a medevac with units inside. It'd be cool if you could neural parasite the Thor while it was in the medevac and then use it to shoot down the medevac and then the Thor crashes to the ground and dies. I'm just, like, throwing ideas out here for the balance council. Or more accurately, Thors don't die when they crash out of the medevac, but instead the ghost hops into it. Um, and it becomes essentially, the ghost is just a Titanfall pilot. And pretty much what I'm trying to say here is I want Titanfall 3, please. Best I can do is a shitty Apex Legend. All right. <laughs> Where were we with this? Um, the changeling, the, uh, the, yes, changelings. In the pipe, five by five, right, boys? Nope. <laughs> the Broodlords! But the Vikings. I'm sorry, I'm losing it here. These kind of games are, um... You know, the thing is, it's even. Like, this is one of the closest versions of this clusterfuck that I've ever seen. As usually, there's a clear advantage. Dark has way more resources, but Bunny built the army. This is the army here. He's got... 29 Vikings! Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! He's got a Scandinavia Vikings right now. 
absolutely ridiculous. His upgrades are way late. Why do you not have upgrades done? We're 30 minutes into the game, buddy. Oh, he borrows a ghost? I think he killed his own ghost in order to deal with that. I'm not 100%. Maybe he just used the brood bird. Like, I'm not sure who killed it there, but... But the resources... There's a Ninus trickling out Zerglings, which looks hilarious on the minimap. Will he actually get an armory? Well, if the Zerglings could... Uh, two at a time. All right, take your turn. There's a Widow Mine at one of the few mining bases left. But Dark finds an opportunity to lay down some parasitic bombs, but ghosts return fire. The Zerglings, this is how these things spiral out of control. When you have to bring too many units back and end up losing the production. Queen of Brenda, no, not like this. Oh my God. Yeah. Parasitic bombs, but this forest! Fungal, another fungal. EMP is coming through, but the corruptors are gonna deal with it. Raining it down. More parasitic, well, no parasitic bombs, but the fungal is helping out a lot. And gonna take out the planetary fortress that's been holding it here. All right, this forest, well, more, more like a, just a, a battle group of spores. A clutch of, did he cancel the nuke at the last second? Like I heard it falling. The false alarm. Six infestors and four ghosts on the way, which really does describe you. You made battery packs over here, Dark. Right. You know, at some point I knew there's an amount of queens. I don't know the number, but we've already established that. Um, that you can have renewable energy. Like, the queens will regenerate enough energy to transfuse, which will then be consumed by the vipers. I think if you have, like, three or four queens, you'll have enough energy to transfuse enough that one viper can just perpetuate. Not that it's important, but we're talking about green energy here. And green energy, I mean, um, in the form of the disgusting straw that the viper sucks out of the buildings. There were so many words I could have chosen there. I have the best words. Um, that's what a lot of very smart people in the comments tell me. Like and subscribe. Could be here a while. You you should have time. I'm, I'm guessing... Well, Bunny's almost out of money. So, eight more minutes before... Well, it's gonna be uh, about eight more minutes till we're completely out of money at this rate. What happens past that? Like, there's a draw on the table because Buddy, I don't think, can ever move out onto the creep. But at the same time, he can't really rebuild either. So, Dark has 600 gas left, and that's it. In fact, that's the last gas on the entire map. Wait, Bunny's mining gas from somewhere. Wait, what? Assimilation? Siege tank! He's got a tank! I don't know if that's worth it, though. Like, uh, losing an infester to make a tank uncomfortable. Dark borrows some circlings in the main, which will be used for the next Nidus. There are nine orbital <laughs> commands right now. Uh, 10k, 7k. Bunny, why do you not have plus three plating for 35 minutes? Dark's army is 10.2k minerals, 8.5k gas. Money, 10.275. But... Oh, that's a dead corruptor. Yeah, Bunny has 200 more gas. And then, so repairing costs one quarter the resources it takes to build, including gas. So that means if Bunny runs out of gas, he could no longer repair. His mechanical units, unless they're Hellbats, which he's built none, curiously. I guess at this stage, like, we never really had that kind of mid-tier Hellbat phase. Whoa! Ghost? Dark actually missed the fungal. I think he's queuing them up. Let's actually go to the Dark Pan here. If we can't see the UI, it makes it a lot harder, but... One Siege tank. 
Yes, this is Dark's camera, in case you're wondering why we're having a bit of a fit here. There's still a lot to be done. Essentially, just staring at the edge of the creep is, is most of the job. Making sure. Because one misstep. You lose these infestors, and you lose the game. Like... The ghosts. Look at his hotkeys, too. Banelings, infestors, vipers, broods, hatch, evos. Like, he had the upgrades on the other one, the nidus. I wonder if he re hotkeys the nidus and the queen. Probably. I put in a mouse button or something. SCVs fighting queens? Oh my god, well, there is a tank over there as well. Well, tanks are pretty much obsolete at this point. Go to the bunny cam. Scanning. Oh my god, he's mining dark spirals! Because, I mean, what else is there to be done? SCVs and tanks fighting. The workers! The workers are pulled in at the end of the day. Money's gonna end up with less workers than he started with. No! He caught Dark looking for the nuke! But the ghosts are caught in turn. He got the EMPs, but the ghosts themselves are taken out. He's actually successfully mining Dark's minerals here, which is hilarious. Yes, this war might be fought with Broodlords and ghosts. But the final war may be fought with queens and marines. As, well, Dark still has 6,900 gas. But Bunny is under 1k. And Dark... There's 100 gas left. Okay, that that is 100% the last gas on the map. Alright. Six, five more Broodlords. Bunny never got plus three plating here. Uh, Bunny's at 10 workers, Dark at 17. Uh, what is the point of workers at this stage, though? We're in a post-labor society. That means we can retire, right? Yes! Retire in some beachfront property on the front line. You'll enjoy it for the rest of your life. Buddy, with his last 300 gas, starts plus three plating. Which seems a bit late. But about as close to late, about as close to the borderline of late and never as you could possibly be. As literally Bunny cannot make any more meaningful units. Dark, I think, is he's starting to use his own creep tumors to trigger broodlings. And then he's using the broodlings to trigger more broodlings, which is uh, not quite cannibalism. Because if you've noticed, the broodlords might have little broodlord looking things, but the broodlings never grow up in the broodlord. So that requires corruptors. So essentially, they're just throwing out their children to eat their other children in order to live their short lives and kill as many Terrans as possible, which is pretty hardcore. Well, here we go. The Vikings, fuck on all the Vikings, but EMPs across the board, and he didn't get the Parabombs. Oh no. Dark, though, gonna work on the Liberators here. 10 more Infestors in production. But Dark didn't quite get the Wombo Combo. Zerglings are working on the main base, but... Uh, Bunny is starving now. He can't really use them. I guess he could build Marines. And he may need to build Marines. And he is. His, his production is slowly but surely being clawed to pieces by the Zerglings. It's impossible for each player to know exactly how much is in the bank. Like, Bunny could have continued production. I'm, I'm sure Dark suspects that he's out of money. Both players know there aren't any resources left on the map, but you don't know for sure how much is in the bank. So you have to play kind of assuming they have enough to rebuild, at least for now, until proven otherwise. But I think Dark is starting to realize, or, or rather confirm, that Bunny is broke. He can't even repair his Liberators. Well, 
Well, the minerals. The money finding some more. He's refilling his supply with marines. How many meta there are three medevacs left. There will be no more. Here we are. 41 minutes. I think we're about to hit the timer where we add an hour counter. Because back in the day, StarCraft time used to be faster. Um, so time actually moved quicker, but we've moved into real time. But that's a holdover, is the hour counter shows up at about um, 40 something minutes. I'm not sure the exact number. A planetary in the center. But spore crawlers may kill a liberator. Get some snipes off. Dark's army is 13,000 minerals and 11,000 gas. All right, wars have been started over less. Now, liberation is at hand. There's still 27 Vikings. Cloaking some ghosts, not that- well, there are spore crawlers there. The marines... working through. And there's the hour counter. Parasitic bomb doing permanent damage now. There's a Thor underneath. I do think the turning point was when the Thor killed six ghosts. Since then, money has not made any real progress on dark side of the map. And, unfortunately for Bunny, Dark still has enough to refill not his army in its entirety, but the bits and pieces that are most important here. And Bunny, he's building some... He really... He builds marauders? Bunny. Bunny, Bunny, Bunny. Well, it's not like repairing is going to do much at this stage. He can only repair, like, a liberate. So... Doc has drawn a line in the creep and says no further. He's even rebuilding some spores. He's down to nine workers. More brood lords on the way. His army supplies at 191. Those are some real optimistic marauders. A wave of broodlings will wipe them out. Feels like we're watching Bunny suffocate here. Takes quite a while. Eight more spores. Dark has reached zero workers. He's at 100 and- Come on, Dark. Build a Zergling. Come on. 199 army supply. He is pure army at this point. He has literally no workers. Please, please, Dark. For the people. Build a Zergling. Yanks and a Liberator. More Marines on the way. 16 Broodlords. Bunny's still making Marines, but he's bleeding out. He finished that plus three plating. Ah, yes. The Fist of Dark. 199 army supply. Pure Zerg power. With the purest Zerg power units. 16 broods, 30 corruptors, 14 infestors, 5 vipers, and 7 queens to hold it all together. And he's also got some banelings over there. I'm incredibly annoyed that he isn't building one set of Zerglings for the people. But. Is there a nuke left? No. Probably regretting the dozen or so nukes. Army supply, 199. Well, the parasitic bombs, the broodlords grinding through, and Bunny. There's just 
Like, I, I think it's time. It's not gonna get any easier. Dark has been holding these banelings in reserve. Still, he's back to 199. Oh my god, Dark. It doesn't get any easier from here. He's gotta go. Here he goes. This is it. This is everything. The fungals to hold it down. But the banelings roll in. He's held him for so long. And, well, the marines are doing pretty well. He got an EMP on all the investors. Wait a second. The Broodlord, there's still 29 Corruptors in there. There's no more investors. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Well, money's coming through the tiny choke point in the center of the map. Parasitic bomb. And buddy, with the Marines. Well, this is getting a bit dicier than expected. There are 30 Zerglings on the way. So much of that army supply. Well, the, the Metavacs are almost entirely... Well, the Metavacs are nearly dead. Blinding Cloud is used, but... Is Bunny doing that? There's no energy on the Infestors. There should be enough Zerglings. But the fact it's even this close... And we're still going! What? Well, if the... the Bunny can't rebuild anything. He has no Metavax. I don't know where he's going. There's nothing left to go home to. I guess you could fight for a draw, but there's no more Vikings. The Broodlords are in production. Where are you gonna, what are you gonna do? He scans. The fact that Dark is still making Brood Lords means he still has any money. GG, he taps it out. But, oh my, got a little closer than expected at the end. 900 Zerglings. 13, all, you know what? That's really the highlight there is, there wasn't that much. And at the very end, zero workers. Just a full spread of units. Wow. Dark perseveres. He withstands the onslaught and he comes out the economic victor. Though honestly, a lot closer than I expect. I really expect him to just lock it down and just wait. But at the end of the day, Bonnie still had a bit of fight left in him. And if he was able to hold on to one more base maybe for just a bit longer, well, that indeed could have looked a bit different. But I think the next game will look different as well. As Buddy just decides, I'm done with it. We're not doing that again. And he's put two barracks at the edge of the net. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> uh, dark? So... He's got his overlord in kind of like this positioning that's supposed to scout for proxy racks. So you don't necessarily scout the racks themselves with this. You just scout the SCVs coming down. You scout the marines. You can kind of tell if it's coming. That is, unless, well, now he knows because he just slapped a bunker down. Dark. There's a, well, there's a marine. Yep. They're already inside the house. The Zerglings will come out, but the first bunker is nearly completed. In this, well... Bunny's getting everything he wanted with it. Dark is responding quickly. Does he cancel the hatch? He's building roaches all... Dark was already building a roach for him. Hmm. There is a wall with a factory on the other side. Well. SCV caught on the wrong side. Bunker, he's gonna go for it. Try to save the day. The roaches, that's not enough DPS. He could just take down the hatch and mo most of the roaches here. Retreats behind the first bunker. Dark is supply blocked. When he loses the hatch there, he's not able to build any ravagers. Get some creep at the last moment. That bunker just gonna hold this position. The Marines headed home. 
So the game will go on. Dark doesn't actually know that he's retreated from this position. For all Dark knows, there's 10 or so Marines back there and producing more. So Bunny, I think, has pulled this off and gotten away with it, but he hasn't outright won the game. In fact, the Marines are retreating. There's only one in the bunker now, just there, mostly for dramatic effect. And this has kept Dark quite busy. Bunny's even going for a siege tech. Like, he is fully good. He's not going for a cyclone. No half measures here. Just a straight up siege tank. Oh no. There's only one Marine. He knows he's been bamboozled. He's gonna chase out that Marine with a vengeance. They left the Marine behind and said they'll expect one of us in the wreckage, brother. Oh, the salvage comes off. A Viking on the way. There's only. Well, there's six overlords on the map now, but only one of them near the base. Another one just wandered out. I think just trying to keep him alive. The barracks are heading back home. Another command center on the way. About equal timing with the hatchery on dark side of the map. So here we are. Dark in a clearly tough position. But he's not dead. Which is the most dangerous time for Bunny. Cloak Banshee on the way. Pretty obvious choice, but that doesn't make it bad. Overlord coming in to scout. The Viking knocks it down. Two command centers. Did he spot? He spotted one. I feel like that's kind of a giveaway. That there are indeed two. Dark is, is just macroing it out. He's building more and more drones. Has to build spores. It's an awkward position because you really don't want to go for a lair this early. But he kind of has to. To deal with the, the cloak banshees. Otherwise it has the run of the place. Mm. Oh, banshee. Gets a drone. Queens, unhappy about it, but now that the Banshee is committed to the other side of the map, Dark is going to move in. There is the tank, which is enough to get him to turn around. And the Banshee going to come back to intercept those roaches, and there's nothing to really protect them. He splits off the hurt roaches to try to protect them from the Banshee. Ah, clever girl. The Banshee does take a lot of hits to kill him. He's really trying to min-max what he has left. And Bunny now going for stim. He's adding more barracks. Looks like he's lining up for a stim timing. Does he have a reactor? Yes. Reactor starport is completed. Lair is on the way. Tank on sieges, but with medevacs, with stim, and, and with two siege tanks. Dark is, does not have a lair, does not have any upgrades. This is a solid army to move out with. And Dark is going to be hard-pressed to deal with it. He may be able to repel it, but the question always is, at what cost? And I think it's going to be a steep one here for the final boss. Carapace on the way. Is he gonna really... He's gonna go try to catch a dark between a rock and a hard place. One queen dead immediately. Siege tanks are already doing what they do best. Hiding as far away as possible. And trying to keep them at a distance. As they fear confrontation. Shuts down the queen. Forces dark into unit production. And then... He's doing the kind of the same thing Dark did, just backing off at the tanks and minimizing potential losses. But I think a smart move out of Bunny. Taking clear advantages without overstepping. Oh, 
Roach speed is on the way, but he rotates around to deny the fourth, and he will be successful. And gets all the creep tumors. Well, not quite the ones at the very front. That one, but he cleans it up. Man, there's not much Dark can do about it right now. There's Sloaches. A few Ravagers, but can't even really compete with the bio in the Metavacs. Dark building 10 Overlords, which I think those are some Amnesia Lords, which is when you get supply blocked, you build some Overlords, and then slightly before the Overlords finish, you're like, oh no, I'm supply blocked, and you build more Overlords. Well, <laughs> here we are. Dark is essentially 127 over 194. Not necessarily a bad thing, but definitely not the most efficient use at this stage. Four investors on the way. Those investors are kind of a quote. Bunny! So, Dark is in the himself right now when it comes to this. He doesn't know exactly what's behind it. He's getting Burrow and Neural Parasite, which... It's a bit of a desperation play, but it may be what he needs. Because despite the supply, clearly Bunny has a momentum. He has a much better army here. And it's going to be up to Dark to break it. There's no hive. Those infestors are not done. Corrosive Biles rain down, knock out one tank, but the Bile Ball steering forward. He has one one done. Plenty of medevacs behind the Banshees are here, but oh, the ba infestors come in. Is it enough to turn this around? The spread is good, but that allows the Roaches and Ravagers to start to isolate some of the units. And the Corrosive Biles raining down, knock out some of the tanks. But the Bio Army... Uh, it survives most of the engagement, and the reinforcements are on the win. There's just not that many units left. The Queens come up, but there's nothing really to back this up, and Dark is forced to tap out as Bunny strikes back in Game 2. Beautifully executed a strong and, and committed cheese into a solid timing. And Dark unable to put it together. The fact that he survived to that point, impressive, but at the end of the day, uh, it was just too far off balance. So not another hour-long game, but instead, um, a relatively quick one, which brings us to the decider. We'll see if Bunny is able to carry that momentum through, or if Dark lays it down on Oceanborn. Jimmy, please. Dark in the top left. Bunny in the bottom right. Where are these SC... Okay. SCV scout. Just making sure the Reaper doesn't need to stay at home. Um, because if he does have a hatch, well then, he'll know. Six lings on the way. Gonna be a more standard opener. No barracks <laughs> sitting at the natural. Is a uh, bunny, he did it. it quite an odd um, kind of no add on setup when he took out the overlord on uh, Elkioni. But this time around, it is your very standard looking to be 1 1 1. Dark slipped out two lings. The overlord hanging out in a weird spot. I think he's intentionally uh, kind of baiting the marine here instead of going towards the pervert pillar. Dancing with the reaper, but the circlings are coming in. I don't think he's suspicious, uh, suspicious at all. In fact, Dark gonna knock down. The marine may get one ling. Good micro there to get even one. But he could potentially delay the switch off of the add-ons here. Which is moderately annoying and definitely an inconvenience but he doesn't he doesn't he's just gonna try to get the scv the reaper comes back and that frees up plenty of space the queens free down for now Carol. for now they'll be back 
but having any free time to go for the creep, optimizing it. It actually, creep spreads faster if you have two creep tumors within range of each other, which is like about this much range. It doesn't get exponentially faster with more. It's just two, all right? They're monogamous. Um, this used to be more relevant. Creep used to spread half as fast, um, but it also receded half as fast. About. It's been fiddled with a few times. So generally, optimizing your creep spread with, with creep tumors was much more relevant in that case. Um, nowadays, the difference is relatively minimal. Like, it's a difference between, like, 20 and 10 seconds. As opposed to 40 and 20. Something like that. Is this a hellbat timing? A knee breaker timing, potentially? He doesn't have concussive shells. Which he's now realizing, but... Bunny, again. He loves his timing attacks. And he's gonna try to catch Dark with yet another one. Triple Marauder. And yeah, it's all coming together. Bringing a Viking with it. The Overlord nowhere in position. Even though he didn't take it out, it's n not going to see this coming. Is Dark ready? He doesn't... Oh, no. All he has are a few Zerglings. He has a bunch of Queens. It's just the Queens. It's just the Queens. Oh, no. Brenda, is that a medevac? Yes! Spread out! Spread out! Now, the spore crawler, the queen spread is beautiful, but the medevac is very important. Robbie the spore actually getting into position here. The hellbats chewing their way through. Loses several of them. The zerglings doing what they can. Another spore crawler moving into position, forcing uh, Bunny to reposition. The queens come up the ramp, uses the other side, but one hellbat in the third finds an opportunity. Dark actually not really losing any, any drones yet. And I say yet, yeah, like he's going to, but so far, the Hellbat's trying to come in towards the mineral line. Couple drones, actually, still only losing one. And repositioning here. One queen goes down, but the Hellbats are not getting the job done at the moment. He, but the Hellions might, as there's nothing at the natural. The surprise, he, no dark, watch out. Oh my. Things starting to heat up here. As the drones in the main getting roasted. He's gotten 13 so far. Now this is real damage from the Hellions. As the Queen's not known for their agility. The Marauders make it even more difficult. Concussive shells off of creep. Just all around not a good time for the Queen. The Hellions trying to run by. One still survives. A single drone taken out in the Hellion. Go tell your friends what happened here. I know. Well... So, behind this, Bunny didn't get enough done. Bunny did not have a third command center. He does not have the upgrades to follow it up. He has double engineering bay, and he's starting plus one mech weapons, but he essentially put everything on pause. So even though he now has that third command center floating over, Dark, he never really dipped under 50 drones, which is that, that marker where you usually have enough economy to immediately... Wow. It's a, a extravaganza of creep spread here. I'm not even sure we can show this. I know. <clears throat> Let them watch. Well. Overall, Bunny, like so many hellbad timings nowadays, it looks good, but at the, when the smoke clears... Rather quickly on Oceanborn. Dark has plenty of drones. And there is no real follow-up. Because going for the armory and investing all your Hellions there means the production is relatively limited. There is just... He's just moving out. There are no medevacs with this. Bunny knows he has to kind of keep control of the situation somehow. This is incredibly risky. He loses this group of units. The queens themselves could fight this. And uh, I'm sure they're itching to. He gets a little bit of the creep and backs off, realizing, well, knowing he's about to bring down a whole lot of anger.
Medivax. <laughs> one, one, combat shield, plus one. Uh, mech weapons. This is the... Bunny actually has a supply lead right now. So, if he's able to bring it to bear... Thing is, dark has money in the bank. He finished his Hydralis down. He doesn't actually have that much larva. He's at 78 drums, so that's a bit much here. If there's any saving grace for Bunny, it's that Dark did indeed get a bit greedy. We're still 1-1 one, one and Baneling speed in production. So Dark needs another 20 seconds. The Queens need to buy 20 seconds here. Zergling counterattack, a ridiculous but possibly effective wall coming through. Dark just gonna give up this base, but the drones are going the wrong way! Oh no! Most of them will still make it, but definitely not the ideal pathing. 1-1 one, one is now done. Dark gives up the fourth. I think that's kind of acknowledging that he, he got too greedy. And now look at Bunny's supply. He's at 178 to 152. These timing attacks are absolutely a specialty. But Dark is going to try to force the issue with the counterattack. He does have that fourth base. It looks like he's not even going to bother with the Zerglings. He's going to roll the Banelings in. Oh, just bashing through the depots. Well, immediately supply box money, who scrambles back to defend. Dark getting everything he wanted here. Bunny scrambles. To, he, he splits his units in half in twain. But that means Dark is able to go easily able to divide and conquer. That's not enough siege tanks. He doesn't know how much is behind it. He's not going to engage. Dark definitely had an opportunity to jump on that. But Bunny. Will not be mining from his third for quite a while. Dark just needs to hold the line. He's killing more and more depots, but he committed all his depots up there. And now his eggs are in this particular siege tank basket. He doesn't have 2-2 on the way. He has no progression in tech. He doesn't have that many workers to fall back on. Dark is buying as much time as he possibly can to build more and more units. And now he's bringing the Zerglings back to defend. And here we go. The Zerglings splitting off, overwhelming the tanks. The Hydra's on the line. Queen's leading the charge. Baneling's trickling through. But the first wave is batted down. And Bunny still stands strong enough. The Queen's taking the wrong angle here. And so many going to be gunned down. After all that effort, but Bunny still has enough Marines. And he's tearing through everything. The Hydra's trying to pull it together. Baneling's finishing mid-fight. Drones pulled off the line. The Baneling's are required. The Hydra's are needed, but Dark, his supply plummets, and Bunny has powered through. Wow, what a turnaround. Dark, uncharacteristically greedy, and in his hubris, Bunny found the small opening. There's two two upgrades on the way. He finished a hive. Dark had everything to win the game two minutes from now, but Bunny sees the moment and strikes through and thankfully it didn't go on two more minutes but bunny takes it two to one dark a bit of an overstep and after that first game losing the series ooh, i i didn't think he'd lose i know i i primed it at the beginning with like this the final boss makes it dramatic and he did but i really didn't think that was the ending we were looking at but well still hopefully it made your day a little bit better if you got the means of motivation be awesome to check out patreon or your youtube membership and if you haven't yet checked out the second channel for streams um for vods and um essentially just more uh good games for the fans well hopefully you'll check it out in the description winter gaming tv and if you're looking for more casts the best way is recommend it um, as that helps out the most, according to YouTube, who's recommended that strategy to me. So, the trickle down. Uh, but otherwise, um, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Good luck. Have fun. Hope I made your day a little bit better. Stay chill.